All right, all right. I've calmed down. We're back. We're back. Let's have a let's have a normal run. I probably won't be doubling my money early on. So even though we don't get rewards for this, let's give it a try. We may be uh, in this... Well, you know what? We have to fish for a straight flush in this situation. I'm sorry. It's just science. I'm not even going to keep a diamond. I want maximum chance. This time I will. <laughs> I want maximum chance to get that straight flush. If you're not going to give it to me, so be it. We're going to try to build... We're going to get a good, solid joker early. We're going to use that as an opportunity to build our econ. You know what? This is good. A... I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is simple. You buy Scholar, and you probably buy Buffoon Pack over Judgment. No, you don't, because you can't afford it. Egg Joker! That's not bad. That'll give us some money later. Shop has a rare Joker. So you're going to sell for five. We're probably going to get to like ten bucks. If we play just Ace... I, I, I feel like this is a spicy decision, but I'm going to... I'm making the play anyway. So me personally, I think what we want to do is really fish for aces. A full house would go crazy. Um, should be two twos, two fives. Uh, you dance with the one that brought you. I'm not dumping those twos after we looked so much for them. Wouldn't you know it? We drew a five. Um, we'll play two pair, but it should be pretty good with two aces in it. Good, we get there. Now the question is, do we have enough money to buy a rare Joker? We may have to sell Egg Joker, but that's kind of what it's here for. We don't have to sell Egg Joker. And actually, it's like a completely playable uh, card. A much, much easier Joker to, to take advantage of than we're used to. <laughs> so, yeah, I see Ace, two, three, four. But we, we got a great setup here already. A full house with two Aces with Scholar and then times three Molt. It's so much easier. I mean, you, you, you can figure out the math for yourself, but it's so much easier to get three of a kind. I can't afford anything. We should just go next. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. We go again. We don't have aces. We do have great three of a kind opportunities. And you're insane if you don't try to get three threes. It must be easier to get three threes because there's already one three on the card. I've lost confidence. <laughs> yes! So you might say, NL, you're making the same mistake. You're playing too fast. No, 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 no. What we're doing right now is building our economy. And when we see the right shop, or we absolutely need to, we jettison egg for as much money as possible. But it's not yet. We can easily get to 2,000. We do kind of need the right circumstances, but... And I will say the one thing that's definitely in common with the last run, sorry threes, you had your chance, is um, we're, we're fishing hard for three of a kind. But on the last run, we were fishing hard for four of a kind and then five of a kind. Here's the thing, those might be aces. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> okay, play this. Knowing that maybe we could get a, uh, a third four. Oh, this is bad, huh? This is at least two pair with aces. It's, it's a full house with aces. Thank you so much. I burned my discards without caring about the boss blind indiscriminately. Now, this might be where we do our, our, our pivot. I think it is. Because Bloodstone can be really good. It gives us something to lean on, making more hearts. And plus one hand size is also amazing. Now, we can afford those without selling, but it'll completely destroy our econ. I, I do like the, the reroll Joker in certain circumstances, but it's fairly... Oh, can I get the sixth? Oh, that's tough, man. I, I'd rather just pay for a polychrome Joker that shows up than risk it. <clears throat> I forgot what I was talking about. Um... Three of a kind, though. Very important. And then, like, to, to get an ace full house on it would go insane. Beautiful. You'd rather play this, then. Um, what I was going to say is, uh, I like the four of, or the, uh, the jack joker for rerolls. But rerolls are so expensive until you get the vouchers that enable it. It's, it's a hard way to get mults. 
create a planet card if you've played two or more eights. Interesting. I'll tell you what we'll do first. We'll start with the Arcana to get a Hermit. It doesn't exist, and that's okay. Stars does not convert the hearts. There we go. There's money's on sale today. It feels like it's been a bit since I've said it. A wild card means it could trigger Bloodstone. We will buy 8-Ball. And we will also get a standard pack. I'll take a wild jack, just because wilds can trigger Bloodstone. No repeat hand types this round. The dream for me, in this case, we got to keep the eights, bro, would be to only have to play one hand. We could play four, five, six, seven, eight. We likely give up on the opportunity to have a planet. But we could get two hearts in it. We got lots of we got lots of opportunities here. You should become wild. I think we got plenty of time, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So let's play four, five, six, seven, eight with two hearts. They both hit, which is crazy. Maybe we should have moved them to the end. Um, and then we got how many? We got one eight left with two aces, two queens. I'm willing to burn as many discards as it takes, and it's not going to take too many. <laughs> I think we're going to make it, so try to get the planets. Or planet, I should say. Neptune. Not likely to matter too much in many circumstances. Uh, I'll, I'll play a flush on this. The great thing about this flush is that it also... The jack could count as bloodstone, and it did indeed. Three aces is beautiful. Zero twos, one three, one six, zero eights, two tens, two kings. We're gonna make it on this. Like, even if we didn't hit that, don't panic, because we got the bonus chips here. Put the wild boys at the end. I guess it only matters if we have something that adds molt on a card. How long did you know that that was going to happen? <laughs> that one, that one stung. That one stung me. I'm fishing for flushes that could also be straight flushes. I am fishing for full houses because I already have three of a kind. It doesn't have to be aces, but like there's several left in the deck. So, you know, it's a given. <laughs> I've lost all confidence in myself as a Balatro player. I'm playing high card. I guess we could keep. We should keep the one that's most likely to actually hit. Oh, never mind. We get there. So this should be a good zero dollars. Okay, this is this. Oh, we we still need to win too. Easy, guaranteed. See you next run. Okay, we go again. <laughs> okay, slow down a little. This is great. Plus three hand size. I don't care to reroll the boss blind. In that case, we should do this and then try to score a big enough hand so that we win in one hand. Like 10 Jack, Queen, King, Ace, I don't think it'll do it. Maybe it will. It'll be like 50. It'll be 80 times 4. That's not enough. So I think we're, we're looking for like four of a kind full house type of setup, in which case we can dump the Jack. Now, full house, ace is full of queens. It doesn't get you there either. Well, we get there in two then. Let's not worry. I think I'm getting... I'm, my time horizon is too far in the future. Let's focus a little bit on just what could keep us alive temporarily. We know we're going to buy misprint. Start with Arcana. Temperance, not so good. Uh, how about two nines level up to 10s. Always a chance you could get 10-4. I actually feel like misprint is like, it averages out to be roughly 10 molt, right? Which is pretty good. Ace, ace, 2-2. Two, two. I'd rather go full house than straight potential on this one. 
110, two twos left. Very common looking situation here. And yet this time, <laughs> hand will not score. Thank you so much for the, uh, the text that I definitely should make more of an effort to read. 10 bucks. Five bucks if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. I'm going crazy mode. Let's, that's something to get our econ going. And then a rare joker. And then $15 in our pocket. Now, do we need a little bit of luck on this one? Maybe, but tell me I'm wrong. With misprint, literally anything could happen. So I'm, not, I'm not setting up the econ here. I was looking for something like a full house. And then misprint, plus 13 mults. Very nice. You may have saved me. Then an ace, two, three, four, five. Easy plays. Plus 11 mults. Now we can simmer it a little bit. We got a rare joker incoming. Times three molt if you got a straight. Straight builds are so hard to set up, but my first rare joker has a tendency for me to define my run. How about a mega standard pack with some high value cards? A lucky nine. And honestly, I think you could skip the, I guess you would rather have a glass four, but two common jokers. Actually pretty good. We at least have some value out of discarding now. We, okay, it's now time to get the econ going again. We don't necessarily have to play four, five, six, seven. Like we don't have to play a straight, especially because that's not a straight. We could instead, we should probably discard the zero once we know what we're looking for at least. We could instead try to draw enough face cards to get money, hang on, he's starting to cook a little bit. Play like a, a, a flush, no, that doesn't quite get us there. Okay, discard this then. Still don't have enough face cards and we do have a flush. Okay, play your flush. 20 bucks would go crazy, just saying. That's fine, plus zero molt. <clears throat> plus zero molt. Ace two, three, four, five may save our life. I should really be using my discards, bro. Plus two molts! I didn't think they could do it to me again! Okay, well, you, we, we have one discard left. We have five, six, seven, eight. I hate to do it. I think you gotta go all in on this straight potential. All right, we got there. Note to self. You have to play a straight. And you have to uh, use your discards first, if possible if possible, and it may not always be possible, but if possible. Start with the Jumbo Arcana. At least our, our Econ is looking good. Listen, straight flushes would also be worth something. Seven of Diamonds, congratulations, you're wild. A Buffoon Pack is a just-in-case. Listen, at least we can get two bucks out of this. Probably more likely to get <laughs> a flush than four of a kind, maybe. First hand is drawn face down. Things you don't love to see. Dump the king too. Now, we're, we're fishing for straights, kind of. We got ace, two, three, four. Easiest discard of my life. We have ace, two, three, four, five. But first, but first... And we're not paying attention to Faceless Joker, which is a negative sign, I'll admit. Ace, two, three, four, five. This is the way to do it. We got a straight, we got 15 mult. We got up to 90 mult. Do we absolutely need to play a straight? This will give us 19 mult times 51. That's like a thousand points. You could probably play that, considering you got no discards left anyway. Oh, there you go. Okay. This is cursed a little. It's not calm, at least. But it's not as cursed as many of our recent runs. Realistically, what do we need? It's so hard to, like, make a straight, man. 
Because like, do I want to copy a card? Like, because then I'm taking away, I'm paying, robbing Peter to pay Paul, right? Think of anything, an Emperor card gives us the chance to f shoot for what we want in battle, which might be the easiest way to make good straights happen. We also need good cards at some point. Um, I guess a Wild Queen is something. I, I really don't think Shoot the Moon's gonna do it for us. Double your money. I think we gotta go for it. I think we gotta double our money and then a Spectral Pack could save us from the edge. Create a rare Joker, set your money to zero. Create a copy of a random Joker, destroy all other Jokers. Literally, neither is really playable. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being sincere, man, because like even this would only give us times nine molt off a of straight, which is like 36 molts. We get 46 molt minimum from Mystic Summit plus Misprint. So, I mean, unless we're willing to pay 34 bucks for a, ran a, a random rare Joker, which we're not, that, that one stings, but I think it's the honest to goodness truth. If we can only play one hand type, it absolutely has to be straights. And we have to discard down to zero to maximize our chances. Now, am I losing my mind a little bit? Perhaps. <laughs> Let's, uh... yeah, okay. We're not going to get a straight flush off this anyway. You might as well bonus a couple cards. Use your Emperor. It's always hard to figure out how to use a Strength card on a straight build. But it is what it is. It's always hard to figure out how to use a Hanged Man on a straight build too. It is crazy to me that we can't even play, like, Jack, Queen, King, Ace, 2. <laughs> Imagine if we could use one Strength card on you two times. Dump it. <laughs> Dump it. Not my best hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, Jack. I'm gonna cry. All right, we're gonna hold R on this one. We've been having some problems in the Balatro mines lately. Skip blind, free rare Joker. Free rare, free everything, I should say. Now this, this looks nice to me. You just go for flushes. Maybe it's time for us to go back to the old standby. Flushes, full houses, flush houses. Get a good econ setup. Live your life. How many aces we got? Two aces, sure. Beautiful. Beautiful? Beautiful is uh, 24, 54 times three. It gets us there. No need to stress. Okay, we're, we're begging. Just give me the mouth joker. Can I get the, ble the blessing of mouth, please? I mean, it's... Blueprint is like... Maybe the best joker in the game. Egg joker is not for score. But it's not cooked yet for a couple of reasons. First things first, the tarot card's so good for fixing our deck, so welcome. Then a judgment card might go insane. No judgment. I'm gonna, I gotta go Hermit off this one. And then I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use this. We've reduced our number of hands, but we should be able to beat the next three levels without any other jokers. The catch for sure is by the time we fight the boss, we need to have at least one more joker in our pocket. And it would be kind of sick if it uh, was one that did something. Hey, this is a great start, bro. The more sun cards, the merrier. How about uh, um, an arcana pack with a fool card or another sun card in it? And look at this, this egg is gonna be worth so much money when we sell it. A fool card that has a sun card. Wow! <laughs> I'd rather have that than a Hermit, so buy that first, then we go to the Arcana pack. The Arcana pack has another Fool in it. Okay, hearts are definitely in the building right now. Flushes are going to be automatic, 
We do still want a Joker at some point. That's a diamond Joker, unfortunately. What do you got here? Another Fool card? Oh my god, it is another Fool card. Y'all? Now, we could use Judgment for another Joker, but like... I mean, when life gives you... If life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. If life gives you a freaking pineapples, then have a luau, man. I'm actually going to fish for Flush House on this one. Can I even get a Flush House? <laughs> like, do we have enough? We have more queens? Sure. We have two more discards coming. You, you root for the Flush House, man. It's kind of annoying to try to draw, as you can see. Yeah, I think we might have overcooked it. In that case, don't play your pairs. Just play that. We're still, I mean, we only need 450 points. It's a big dunka 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 in my world. So we've we made 12 cards into hearts, right? We have 25 hearts already. Oh my god. Please, please, God. A heart buffing joker. We can, it's it's risky, but please keep in mind, these jokers do nothing for our score. So I'm not gonna sell you just to get nothing. We'll get through the 600 points. We will. Don't, don't stress too much. I'm talking to myself. We'll get through the 600 points. And then we'll figure the rest out, okay? I said we'll figure it out! Now this may be the most obvious flush-coated build I've ever seen in my entire life. Just remember, whatever Joker we buy is basically two Jokers. So if, it, if it's good, that's amazing for us. It'd be nice to get one. <laughs> buy credit card because it enables us, at the very least, to uh, go into debt to buy Jokers. So this is what we're here for. 17 bucks out of Judgment is super nice. Or out of, out of Temperance. We roll. Honestly, for a minute, we got to run popcorn just to stay in the game. Stencil is, is tempting, but for long term, I don't think it's what we need. 15 bucks on defeating the boss blind. I kind of feel like for right now, why don't you just keep this egg pumping? Give yourself more shops. Give yourself more opportunities to um, to turn more cards into hearts and to find the uh, to, t to find the heart jokers that could really kick off for you. That's a spade joker. I'll buy a spectral pack, man. Absolutely. Destroy a card, two enhanced aces, add a red seal. Um, convert all cards to a random rank. Makes it very easy to get, like, flush five. This is a tough choice. I, I think you... Red seal is, like, too valuable not to, not to run with. 1,500 points should be no problem for now. And look at the value we've gotten out of these tarot cards, man. I mean, that's 22 bucks right there. Oh, man. The thing with... So what do we want on Red Seal? If we can make it either steel or we could um, add, like, an enhancement to it of basically any sort, we'd be pretty pleased. I think we like Sock and Buskin. It'll re-trigger all face cards. We don't have any, like, enhanced face cards yet, but if we get some, we'd be chilling. We have a steel card. That's pretty good. I, sh I, I almost wasn't even paying attention to it. And maybe start to look for some flushes, right? I almost wanted to say skip on that one. That would not have been advisable. Hanged Man. 80 chips if you have a flush. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Diamonds are debuffed. Okay, that's like a dream come true. Now we have four of a kind eights, bro. Can I tell you something crazy? I would rather A, play flushes, and B, get another card. Now the card is useless. And that stings. It does. But so be it. We do have flush house potential, but... 
I, I actually didn't expect to win so fast. Okay, popcorn needs to go. Don't forget about it, because it might destroy blueprint as well. That would be bad. <laughs> we got 20 bucks burning a hole in our pocket. One hand per round goes crazy, but let's see this buffoon. Could be negatives. Shoot the moon, molt for each queen. All played face cards. 10 molt, $3. I, I think this is nice for econ, honestly. It also gives us 10 molt, which is great. And then, I don't know, you, you could double our econ for now. And then we need the extra hands. I don't think we buy the planet for econ-based purposes. Lose $1 per card played incoming. Okay. What do you want me to discard? Sevens. Okay. Noted. I guess I'll just play a flush. That's not even a flush. <laughs> Now, technically, you should probably be over here, but imagine if we got some sevens. Imagine, imagine the look on our face when we draw a seven, boys! Now, does it work? It says compatible to me. Now, you should be here. We waited too long, but it's, it's only like, I mean, another 50 chips. It's 500 points, which is worth a lot, but... It'd be better to have it on Crafty Joker, I suppose. So Fibonacci can obviously go insane, given the right circumstances. We would like a glass card, I think. Glass cards that trigger two times, or like the, the molt would go insane at least. You want me to discard kings this time? Eight molt wins scored. Let me look at my deck for a second. It feels like it's not what we're looking for. Although we got fives, we do have one special ace. Listen, I mean, obviously, it score wise, it clears that. Jupiter, please. No, none Jupiters, man. None Jupiters. Maybe at some point we'll play a straight flush. I know that's probably like part of the Northern Lion drinking game at this point. Uh,. I think we're going to win easily, so I'm, I'm running trading card. Right? And by win easily, I mean not the whole game, but like our next hand. And I think we're not going to lose that much money doing it. You want us to discard kings. I don't want to discard a king from our deck, though. So let's destroy a non-heart two and get six dollars. Then move you over here. And it's, it's a bit risky, <laughs> but we should get $6 off this. And then... Molt you up. And then we lock in. And these are these get 4 molt, but we get 8 molt off of... Oh, but these trigger twice. 3 times, we'll take it to 12 molt, 8 molt. Eight, I think it's basically the same whether we have it on Fibonacci or on Sock and Bussin. Now, it, you know what? This is the first run in like two days, at least of recording YouTube videos, that I feel like we've, we've gotten our engine offline, or I guess online, <laughs> and we can actually start playing a little bit. Like we have the money to buy stuff from the shop, which is nice. Steel Heart goes crazy. How about a Jupiter? And like, we're not getting the best luck, we're not getting the worst luck, but we can weather the storm a little bit. That's what feels nice. It would be nice to have plus 15 mults, but we're, we're rooting for something a little different right now. We're running a, a, different, uh, a different sort of tact. You want me to discard aces? That did only give me three bucks, didn't it? Now that I look at it. Discarding aces... In the words of the immortal Austin Powers, that sort of thing isn't my bag, baby. I'd rather just win in one hand, please. You should have moved. Well, I guess in the end it doesn't matter, but we could have had a, a much higher score. Who do we have Red Seal on, by the way? It's on an ace. If we could get Red Seal on a face card, like via a Spectral Pack, that would go crazy. $42 Rare Joker, no thanks. We could weather the storm of losing 
a good card. That was our best card, and it got replaced with three non-hearts. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> And then we don't get anything about it. That's okay. We'll get wild cards. We can, we can use them. We can use them, okay? We'll find something there. I think we just go next. I think we're still chilling. Polychrome Joker is the next thing we're looking for. So first thing, we got to discard you. A non-heart. You want us to discard threes. That can be arranged. And an eight and a queen. And now we got a great hand. I don't think a gold card is worth that much, but it, even just using it immediately like pays for itself so fast. Although I shouldn't have put it on a 2, maybe because a 2 is fibonacci -able, but... Again, I made a, a mistake. You should be, like, here. Or, uh, he... Well, this one's kind of bad. It doesn't trigger on anything. <laughs> we can get 10 extra chips. Uh, we're, we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. Don't even worry about it. We're chilling, bro. Okay, that's we're not chilling. I'm very scared. Am I scared enough to play my gold card? I am. I am scared enough to play my gold card. Keep the steel one in hand instead. Uh, that was way better. I guess it's it's all about blueprint. We could still we could squeeze a little bit more juice out of trading card. <gasps> this is what we need. So we want re-trigger face cards and then on hearts to get times two molt off of them. So I, we gotta get rid of the Joker that does nothing. And then played cards are gonna molt. They're gonna raise the molt. So I don't think you being here is necessarily where I need you. I do like banana. I think we open buffoon packs to look for negatives now. Nice try. We definitely open planet packs because we literally are still rocking We're now a level three flush, but there's work to be done. We do want Polychrome Joker now. <laughs> For every discarded king. The man's a, a mad genius. Obviously, you guys are all gone. Good tarot card. Hierophant. Potentially very useful, don't get me wrong. How many hearts did we discard on our first hand, bro? This seems... I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, bonus chips on a face card. And then everything else is like kind of irrelevant. Bonus chips on a face card. And then I think you, you, you have to double the chance. Yes. You have to double the chance from Bloodstone. Even if it gets triggered early. Holy cow. Oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long since I felt in control of my own destiny in this game. Oh! Okay, polychrome. <clears throat> so it's times 1.5 molt by itself. That would leave it so our only flat molter, and I said what I said, uh, would be Fibonacci. A jack. It, listen, it's not a jack of uh, hearts yet. Imagine. I mean, I think we have to, realistically. It's polychrome, and it, it clears the 10 mult off of this as long as we still get Fibonacci. And we'll still get some benefit out of the chips. Because you are a, a part of our plan. I am making the, my mistake from earlier where I'm thinking too much about the long term, but I'm telling you, this it's not a mistake this time. This time, it's the way. So, very important ideas are at work here. When we draw this, which we just did, it now becomes a heart, which means it'll get triggered two times off of Sock and Buskin, and it's a flush house. So let me, let me just take a, a peek at what this could look like. We could even trigger them one extra time. Holy cow, two million points on anti-5. <laughs> I think we... Don't change... Change nothing, man. Change nothing. <laughs> Just look for more Jupiters some, some, or some flush houses, I suppose. And then tarot cards to convert more cards into that polychrome jack. And we're... There's some serious cooking going on. Not good enough. But we, we got good money right now. Double our money. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the way. That's the way. Almost clicked on the button again. It sucks that face cards are debuffed, but constant doing business in this mixed up world. Do I want you to double molt or do I want you to... Maybe I'd rather you work on Fibonacci here for a second. Is it good enough? And then don't forget, are you, you're one in three chance for times two or like a guaranteed times one. But it's tough to think about, man. Lose a discard and lose an ante. I think we will. I will be destroying none cards. I think I can deal with minus one hand size because we're making flushes. What joker becomes negative? It literally doesn't matter because it means we can buy another joker. And you're given plus 18 mults. And we'll replace you with something later. Honestly, this is a, a joker. All other things being equal is probably the same. But a joker that doesn't give you score counting as a, a negative goes crazy. <laughs> Let me try something here. Because it, it like... Cognitively speaking, in your head at least, you're like, at least I can I can't afford not to have it because it's it's taking up none space. And I think honestly on this I'm a, I'm skipping, as I I simply you need to show me something better in the shop. I do understand the idea. Don't get me wrong that uh, you know we could reroll. The rerolls are really expensive until you voucher up, bro. Okay, we definitely want blueprint on Bloodstone. We, I can't prove it, but I've demonstrated it in vivo. Now we're talking. Jumbo Arcana pack first for greater selection. Sun card would have gone crazy. In lieu of the sun card, we'll destroy two non-hearts to make it easier to draw what we're looking for. What we really want to see is a death card to make more polychrome jacks, but it is what it is. You have now become a heart. Deck continues to get a little bit easier to play. And honestly, I'm not buying it. And I don't think we need to buy anything. You are going to decrease the level of my played poker hands. What are you doing here? <laughs> Which sucks, honestly. That, that's pretty bad. But if we can get away with it only being de-leveled once, that's probably fine. Now, every molt helps us out so much, so like more planets would definitely hit the spot. Jumbo Arcana, more Polychrome Jacks, please. This seems horrible, just being honest. Um, more hearts being molts, so that the molts then get molted. How about a Death card or a Sun card? Chariot, Fool gives us Empress. I think we gotta go Emperor. We know what we're fishing for, and it's not that. Reroll boss anti. Now you're the hard joker, but you only give us maximum 20 mults. That being said, you will also give us literally 20 mults. This gives us 18. But can I be honest? I'm not spending. Okay. I'll spend $3. <laughs> Knowing that if there was another negative joker, like it would have. That, that abstract joker would have been better, but also knowing that we don't really want uh, any of them to stick. Long term, we, we, we want something even better. So let's start, let's just take a gold card. Allows us to use High Priestess for a Jupiter, no Jupiter. Mars could still go crazy if we get four Polychrome Jacks or five, or no, four Polychrome Jacks in hand. I would like to Polychrome, hopefully, this Ace. It only got foiled, but that's still pretty good. We know what we're doing now. Now this probably is obvious it would go crazy to get a larger hand size, just so we have a better chance of drawing our great cards. We have no problem making hands, but when we're really fishing for score, and this one is going to endless, when we're really fishing for score, we're gonna, we're gonna want it. Spades are debuffed, which I would say more accurately is like wilds are debuffed. Gotta do what you gotta do in this house. Beautiful. There's a lot of luck involved in these scores, but we, we seem to be clearing a certain amount every time. Poly
polychrome mail-in rebate, I just don't think is good enough. Extra discard is very nice. Jupiters, please. They're, they're kind of sticking it to me on these. <laughs> and what we really want is tarot cards, but there we go, a Jupiter. We're back to flush level three on anti 400. Okay, uncommon jokers are better. Yeah, we could sell a common, run uncommon jokers are better. I do genuinely believe that we still copy Bloodstone, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Deja vu, this is this is the play. Red seal on your polychrome and then have it trigger a thousand times. And then copy this card as much as possible. I, I almost just want to... Like, this is why we need a bigger hand size. <laughs> I'm like, buddy, draw it. Draw the draw the freaking jack. <laughs> draw the jack, man! Okay, let me see how baseball affects us here. That seemed good, considering we didn't draw our polychromes. I'm starting to get scared about the fact that we're not drawing our polychromes, man. Well, this could ease the pain. All right, well, we did what we could. More Jupiters. We know what we're spending our money on. We're no longer fishing for um, mega standards because we just we don't need them. Clubs are debuffed. We've really managed to dodge those so far, which is nice. We need tarot cards so that we can copy. Oh, we just won. Um, we need tarot cards so we can copy that Jack and then Endless has a chance. Oh, no, no, we, we did not just win. I'm like, I'm messed up, man. Sun card. Very nice. You know, at this point, it's like beggars can't be choosers. Death card, death card, death card. Hanged man versus $24. I really want to draw the Jack of Hearts more often. 24 bucks is pretty good though. That's, we got five discards. Uh, we're not playing full houses, man. Turtle Bean goes insane. I just can't fit it. Unless I'm willing to, you know what? Maybe times 1.5 molt pales in comparison to a times 1.5 plus the bloodstone. I don't know I don't know how to align them just to be clear. This should let us see what kind of hands we can cook with though. Because we'll have the opportunity to discard a lot to try to get our polychrome jack. I know we got like straight flushes out the whatever here. We, we simply don't need them. We need polychrome jacks, bro. Now you're kind of, you're burning me up a little bit on this one. I'm not going to lie to you. You are. Because I need polychrome jacks. I know they exist. Are you really going to make me debase myself by playing a mere flush house? <laughs> the indignity of it all. Let's see how our score shakes out. Decent Fibonacci hand for sure. Steel cards got re-triggered off. Did they? Did they? I don't know. We did just get six million. I wasn't really I don't really understand why. Very nice Jupiter though. And how about a, another Jupiter? That's a voucher that would go hard for us. Now, just keep in mind, Turtle Bean gets worse over time. So with this is I'm I'm if you'll allow me to say it, I'm basically taking it to show off. I want to see what this deck is capable of. For that to happen, like, it's helpful to have uh, more draw. Because we, we get to hold more steel cards, too. It exists. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it. A chariot. That's another steel card, bro. Welcome to the party, pal. Now, I really, really hope that the, the glass jack doesn't break, but let's just see what we're cooking with here. That's level 19. That's level, okay, that's, we, we play four of a kind. Don't, don't break my, my glass jack, please. That seems good. 
75 million. <laughs> it didn't break either. Okay. So it's a good idea of what we're capable if we get the right sort of draw. Death card, please. It's like, without being rude, death card and duplicating that... Um, probably steel is the best for us then. Death card and duplicating that jack, the polychrome jack with the red seal is like... That's our end game. We're doing great right now. Don't flip me! Okay, I don't even know what blueprint is copying. I learned that from someone in the Discord, by the way. Thank you for your tip. <laughs> if you hold on to a Joker, it won't get it won't get flipped. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think you need to be honest with yourself. We're probably uh, good enough here, no matter where the Jokers end up, that I think one hand will get us to 180,000. I may have even had my Jokers in suboptimal positions. For all I know, this might have helped me. No, because Turtle Beam is at the end. But we definitely were going endless. Okay, feels good to be back, whether it's with a flush build or not. We want... I don't even remember, man. Fibonacci adds molt. You have a chance to molt the molt, but it happens when cards are played. You re-trigger all cards. As they're played, I think. And you don't do anything, so you can just go here. Although you do... Multiply Molt, so you should go before added Molt. And then you were copying Bloodstone. Okay. I should pay attention to boss blinds if I'm going to take the thing that allows me to reroll them. I'm just so scared that I'm going to go into this first encounter and I'm going to play a hand and it's going to be like 100,000 points and I'm not going to remember how to get my Jokers back. <laughs> Hello? Playing a flush sets money to zero. We can get around that. We'll just play like four of a kind or something. Upgrading flush by three levels kind of goes crazy. We don't really care for a hollow joker. We really care for a negative joker. Even if there's a lot of luck involved. Huge. Tarot card. Death card. You've done me a service the likes of which you can't even comprehend. <laughs> Draw the other one. Now draw the... Okay, well, still, I'm still thrilled. I'm thrilled with what you've done here. Holy cow. A billion points. It's only the second time I've ever gotten there. You saw the first time. <laughs> the heart is not going to do it. Negative, negative jokers. Nice try. Um, roll me once. Nah, we snooze those. I think we skip because leveling up flush by three levels. Again, you're taking this base molt and making it higher. Plus, I guess Turtle Bean will live for this. Um, so that the score should be that much better as a result of it starting from a higher point. Now, ideally, we don't want to play flushes. But I'm still going to fish for like some type of flush. Maybe a straight flush is, is a, a sensible idea. 10 jack, queen, king, ace with the polychrome jack at the end. A royal flush? That doesn't count as a flush in this, in my head. There you go. Okay, and we, we knew the bean was leaving. That's fine. That's what food's designed for. I'm gonna miss it. Foil cards appear more often. <laughs> Temporarily? It would be nice to just add a um, an uncommon Joker of any type, so we still get the times 1.5 out of the Jim Joker. But long long term, obviously, we want something good in that spot. Level up flush houses if uh, we're gonna play it. One more. It's as far as I'm willing to go. I'm buying this simply because face cards get triggered twice. Two million is no issue, man. Give me a spectral pack. Give me a red seal. Talisman, add a gold seal. I'll add a gold seal to a face card that gets triggered multiple times. I'd love to see the rare Joker at the very least. I mean, we're kind of messing around here. We could literally just play this and move on. <laughs> the only other thing I'd be fishing for, and it's getting, it, it is worth doing, but it's getting a little min-maxy. That wasn't that good. is um, fishing for uh, discards, like from a, from a purple seal 
two discards remain. We like we got to make sure that we clear the boss on this one. I think we will. Why was that hand so bad? Because we lost the times 1.5? Or did I not play a flush? Am I insane? Did I forget that that was not a flush that I played? Or what, what happened? Was it the lack of polychrome? See, that's more like what I was looking for. It was like a 22 million point hand. Maybe Bloodstone also didn't work well for us. I recognize that um, the mouth face is going to give us A, 50 chips, and then if it's on hearts, it's going to go to the moon. So here's what I'm going to do. It's not on hearts right now, um, so that's not relevant, but it kicks the you-know-what out of scary face. And it means, like, I, I don't think we're going to draw a club flush because there's a total of five of them in our deck. <laughs> but if we do, oh, we got to dump it. It's, it still wants clubs. It's fun this way because if hearts show up um, on the mouth card, that's going to be quite a... That's going to be quite a spectacle. Why was that so bad again? Have I... Am I missing something? Obviously, the answer is yes. Obviously, the answer is yes, but I don't know why. Lack of flat molt from, like, no Fibonacci, maybe? I don't know. It's like our hands are, like, 300,000 or 38 million. <laughs> so, obviously, something is... Something's amiss. Hearts, mouth, you beautiful man! You should be at the end, of course. Although you do, man, the 50 chips is somewhat secondary. One reroll just to see. An uncommon that destroys our jokers. I don't think we'll be taking that. World card. No thank you. Now, of course, we, do, we still want to see if we can draw the ultimate hard which we didn't but that's fine let's see what kind of hand we're cooking up here lucky card that gets triggered twice three times i should say maybe three times 30 million point hand pretty good lots of money made we really we need to dupe more um polychrome jacks and we need to do it yesterday add foil or polychrome to a card in hand foil <laughs> death card me please they don't they don't make death cards anymore bro so i i think it's probably obvious but we're kind of we're, we're running up against it my hunch is that 26 million is not that big of a deal um but I, I also obviously don't fully understand why some of these hands are popping off and some of them aren't. I'm assuming it might be related to the number of Fibonacci's. Or maybe it's just like some, some variance on Bloodstone, but... No matter what, we need an uncommon Joker. Unless... Oh, you're not, you're not doing hearts anymore. That makes sense. Uh, what about... I mean, Sun is great to minimize discards, but we're at a point where we just can't play any heart. Like, we're trying to fish for the, the best hearts in our deck. So I think we almost have to... We had to try it, and it's foil, unfortunately, but it's it's something. Another blank for us. And I'm, I'm, I'm really fishing for an uncommon. 540 million um, might do us in. I'm gonna go crazy. We simply, I mean, you're a Fibonacci now that I think about it. We need our best Jack now for me to feel comfortable. So we're really getting down to the wire here. This is a nice one, and these trigger multiple times. Like, you know what? You could persuade me on this one to play that. Maybe we'll hold the Jack in hand just in case we draw three polychrome Jacks. Because we did have a 2 billion point hand. That's insanely good. The thing is... 
We got to hit that 3 billion point hand. <laughs> okay, so polychrome at the end. Adding chips and molt at the start. Get we You're, you're saying we got a chance, boys. Let's see how one polychrome jack with the red seal can affect this. It feels like it's been forever since we've seen his face. That was not even close. I'm cooked. I'm, st I'm still happy, don't get me wrong. I'm happy, but I am cooked. Unless, imagine two lucky cards. Uh, imagine 420 molts off these lucky cards. 20 bucks, man. <laughs> It was still really good. Now I gotta play a pair of sevens. Send it down Main Street. All right, uh, at the very least, I'm, I'm very pleased we had a good run. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you wanna see more in the future and I will see you next time. Best hand one Billy, don't forget it. I'll see you next time.